When you first um, see children involved in a conflict, I think it's important to step back and think about what your primary goal is. And your goal is to make this a learning opportunity for the children. So the goal is not to end the conflict immediately. The goal is not to stop conflicts from happening, but the goal is when children are in a conflict situation to try and help them learn the skills they need to be able to resolve a conflict independently. It's winter now in our school and so a big learning goal for us is helping children to get their snow pants and their boots on when they're getting ready to go outside. It would be a lot quicker for us if we as the adults put the children's boots on for them, but then we wouldn't be teaching them anything. It wouldn't be a learning opportunity. The same thing's true with conflicts. If ch two children are struggling over a marker, it would be a lot easier for us just to hand them another marker so they'd have two markers, or to separate the children, or to um, intervene in some other way. But that would not be a learning opportunity. As children begin to learn to use this conflict resolution procedure, they will begin to find non-aggressive ways to resolve conflicts and aggression will begin to decrease in a classroom. So it's really important that you institute that procedure. The children who learn those conflict resolution strategies are less likely to be aggressive as they get to be older children. They're less likely to be the children who bully other children. And they're also more likely to stand up for their own rights and not be bullied as they get older.